Well, after giving it more and more thought, I've decided to just build a room addition around the sand battery because that trailer would need about 10 sand batteries to, uh, or re-insulate the whole thing. <laughs> and uh, I'm about sick of that trailer anyway. So I'll just make a little teeny micro tiny house around it. Room addition tiny house. New project. It's all part of the main project. There's the original date I poured this, built this fence. And there's Jake's Paul, big old Jake. He's passed away now. He was a big boy, about 120 or 40 pounds. One bag of sand and seven bags of concrete. Now I'm going to continue down through here for a wind block. Privacy wall. So when I lost my battery pack about six years ago, or maybe more than that, I'm not sure, batteries all went bad and I couldn't afford to buy new ones I started running things directly off the solar panels and these are 12 volt solar panels so they put out about 20 volts open circuit 19 to 20 volts and then as I started getting back on my feet I had already created a 19 volt swamp cooler <laughs> Well, it was running fine on 19 volts, and I didn't want to run it on 24 volts. So anyways, I came up with this idea of making a 16 volt battery pack. So I used two 8 volt uh, golf cart batteries. I didn't even know they had such a thing. I went down and they had these 8 volt batteries. So I thought, well, this puts out 20 volts, 19. If I have 16 volts, it should keep it charged. And then if I have a load on it, my swamp cooler, and later on I put lights and I even put an inverter, all kinds of different things. And it worked great for years. Yeah, these batteries lasted so long I couldn't believe it. I mean like seven years out in the sun with no charge controller. So I built a new battery box here, a little battery shed. I'm gonna put some doors on it. Now this is a system that I basically invented. I don't know, I, I never seen anybody else do this system. So I started out using two eight volt batteries to create a 16 volt battery pack. And I ran that for about seven years with no charge controller and no inverter. Although I did add an inverter later, but originally it was just to run uh, swamp coolers and lights. And that's what I'm gonna do now. But uh, now I've jumped it up to 18 volts because, well, the six volt batteries are real common. They give me a larger capacity as far as uh, amperage goes. And also, it gets it closer to the output of a 12 volt solar panel. So these are experiments I've been working on for years. A 12 volt solar panel puts out, each one's a little bit different. Okay, this one says it's a Mitsubishi 22 volts open circuit. So that'd be about perfect. 22 volts during the day at, at the peak, and it'll probably never hit exactly 22. I've never seen it get that high. It might get 20.5, 21 at the most. And that'll keep it charged about three volts above the, the 18 volts. So 
So as of right now, all I have as a load on this system is this wire here going into the house. <laughs> and it runs my evaporative cooler. That's a Bonaire cooler, but I, I converted it over to uh, DC power 